The React Native repository on GitHub under the Facebook organization here has a few good reference examples that you should explore. There is an RN tester folder here. Go ahead and click on that. This project used to be called UI Explorer, but it was renamed. This is particularly important one as it can help you to explore all the React Native elements that you can use in the React Native project. To see the application in action, we'll need to clone the full React Native repository. The instructions here have a line you can copy to your terminal to do that. And once the repository is cloned, you need to cd into it and run an npm install command to get all of its dependencies. And when the npm install command is done, let's take a look at rn tester. You'll see a few directories there. We want to open the rn tester xcode project directory. So we can simply just do open rn tester rn tester.xcode project just like that and this will open the project in xcode. I'm going to go ahead and pick a different iPhone for the size. Just pick the iPhone 6. And to run this rn tester project, we need to click on this run button from Xcode. If you get this message about enabling developer mode, go ahead and enable them. The project will start building. The build process is going to fire up the React Native Packager, and it will also start the simulator. Let's take a look at that. You will get the build succeeded notification, and you should see the rn tester project launching up in the simulator. You're going to love this RN Tester project. It has many examples of a lot of things that you can do with React Native, and you can explore how these examples look in iPhone, and you can also look at the source code. Of course, you can also run the project in Android and see how things are different in Android. You can explore the source code as well. Let's open up an atom on the RN Tester project. And the important directory to explore here is this JS directory, which has a file for every example in here. So let's explore some of the UI components that are presented here in the RN tester. Let's take a look at button. So in here, you'll see a simple button example. You'll see an adjusted color example, a fit to text layout example, and a disabled example. And you can press those to see the action that they do, which is calling the React Native Alert API. So if you want to see the source code for this button example, it's here somewhere. Look for button example. And in here, you'll see the four different examples that are presented here. Here's the on button press that just uses the alert API, which we are importing from React Native. And you'll see the four examples here in an exported array. And every one of them has a render function of what it's doing. So the first example is a regular simple button. If you want to adjust the color for the button, we can specify the color prop just like that. If we want to disable the button, we just pass the disabled attribute. So these are very simple to follow examples, and there are so many of them. So let's explore some more. The one UI element that probably exists in every React Native application is the view element. So you can search for view. And you'll see a few of the view elements. This is the regular view element. And it gives you a lot of examples about how to use the view element. This view element renders a UI view on iOS and a view on Android. It's often compared to the div element in HTML. Let's take a look at the source code. It's in here under viewexample.js. And the source code of this example is mostly about styling view elements. You'll see a lot of examples of how to style the view element differently. Another important UI element is the text element. Unlike HTML and the web, you can't actually have free form of text with a React Native application. You have to wrap any text with a text React Native element. And another element that we'll probably use is the image element. And you'll see examples of how to use the image element and all the attributes that you can do with the image elements and how to style an image elements. So take a look at all these examples and explore the source code and get yourself familiar with the way these UI elements are used in React Native. One thing you can notice is that there are some elements that are platform specific, like for example, date picker iOS in here. If you search for iOS, you'll see all the iOS elements. And on Android, those will have the Android suffix as well. So for example, the date picker iOS 
renders the native iOS date picker element. On Android, you'll need to use the date picker Android element, which has a different API. This is an example of something that can't be shared between iOS and Android. However, the logic that these two date picker elements depend on or implement can still be shared. Right under this components section, you can explore the APIs available to you, both the cross-platform ones and the ones that you can only use on the platform on which you're running this RN tester project. For example, there is an alert cross-platform API and there is a more featured alert iOS API. You can test these APIs and find their code under the JS folder as well.